Hello everyone, I am Rajesh from ACM Technology. We are learning complete Python course from beginner to professional level. And last class we learn how to print and how to declare variable as a string, right? And uh, I think you guys understand these things. So we are not going to use this method anymore in our future. Always going to use this method. So today we are going to learn more about string. And today we are going to learn string indexing, how to indexing our string in Python. So it's very easy. Let me show you. Let me write first string indexing in Python. Indexing, uh, indexing means if you guys are no array, right? Indexing and array, the rules is very is totally same, I think. Yeah, the rule is same, just a bit different. So you guys are don't need to worry. Just see, and very easy. You guys understand everything. So let me write name, and the name equal to some name, whatever you want. Let me write Nepal. So in Nepal, I'm going to make comment here. Comment here in Nepal. We have to see position indexing means a position okay here we have to see position in this case just like this let me see m position and e position and p position so m is as position as one right but in any programming language always start from zero that means n is position 0 and e position 1 and the p position 2 and the a position 3 and the l position 4 right so you see our totally alphabet 5 but our position is highest position 4. Why? Because it started from 0. So first n position 0, e position 1, p position 2, a position 3, and the l position 4. So if you want to print any character, just single character, for example, I just want to print e. I want to print just e. That means I, I, I want to print e. e means which one? Index 1, right? the one so we have to write like the something like this if you want to print this is means indexing if you use this this sign that means is indexing okay so i'm also going to here right here because if i write here it's easy for you guys indexing very easy right this is means is indexing so let me print one here print that i'm going to print name but only some character like uh, i just want to print p so p means which position 0 1 2 right p means 2 you see 0 1 2 as you see here p means position 2 so position 2 but this is now is not correct because now is true right but always when you want to print a position you have to print write also this sign this sign means indexing so i'm going to write this sign also here so now means name print the name where the index where the position is 2 0 1 2 yani p right so here going to print what just p let me show you here python and the uh, st dot py enter you see just p right so let me more here i want to print 4 so what do you think 4 let me count 0 1 2 3 4 means last one here right so let me show you you see here l so if, if you want to print more like uh, any character from here you just print like this just create just write index 
and the that number the position number if you don't write this sign that means no index here just this is now just four not a position let me show you now show you error not a correct answer you see here it's correct not a correct right because name is okay because name is here but name four is not defined right name four is not defined you don't know what is name for but now when i put inside this bracket that means now name is index name is position so which position four four position means five number right one two three four five is here but in programming always you count from zero zero one two three four let me see l let me show you again you see here l any number which number you want you can print like this so i hope you guys understand this video indexing and next video is going to print two or three or more so see you in next video